Hello and welcome to another in the series of the making of and the mixing of uh, certain tracks from my new album, Life Story, by Fast Cakes. Uh, this is the title track called Life Story uh, and it, it does go back quite a long way because uh, the song is based around a sample that I took from a song of a, a band of mine called Makaton Chat which was recorded and released on vinyl in 1982. Um, it was the B-side of our 12-inch single Federal State Chance and it was called It's His Life Story, Hail the Wild. Um, so what I did was I took a little sample from it which is basically the, the opening riff of the song which is all keyboards and drums because we were on an old keyboard band it had a little bit of guitar. Um, and then a sample from the middle of the song with, with, with a bit of an instrumental and I just looped that instrumental all the way through so I'll, let, I'll play you that now See, after the introduction, you've got this uh, repeating loop, which just goes all the way through the song. So that's what I uh, I was working with to start with, um, and I, initially I had an idea of putting lots of guitars on, getting somebody in to do guitar, but uh, didn't get around to that in the end. So I had to work out something on keyboards. Um, the problem you've got with something like that is. The, the, the sample is in the same key all the way through the song. Uh, it's in uh, A, as it happens. So that means you're kind of limited with what you can do. Um, you know, the, 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 the you can go down to G. And that's what I did in the end. I did a th the, the old three chord trick, as, the, as they say. Doing it in A, G, down to D, back up to A again. Um, and that was the chorus. The verse was all in A. And it just kind of repeated through, so it was it was a, a challenge to try and make it interesting. So the first thing uh, I wanted to do once I got the sample in was to maybe just beef it up and and, and add some uh, pad sounds and some string sounds just to sort of smooth everything out a little bit. Um, so the first thing I did was I put some pads on the verses, which I mean essentially they went all the way through the song. Um, doing the old three chord trick there I'm, I'm doing the A then down to G up to the D and back to the G again uh, against the sample which is all in A uh, so that was the pad that just um, beefed things up a little bit and I added another pad It's a very resi pad. So that was that. So that was uh, building it up a little bit. So then I uh, decided to uh, build it up as the song went on. So I added a, a new uh, pad which didn't come in till a minute and a half in. And I called it Dirty Res because it was it was trying to emulate a little bit uh, of a guitar sound. It didn't quite work out as a guitar, but that was the aim of it. So that was like uh, a dirty guitar sound. So that 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 built the song up a bit. So now it was built up a little bit, and it sounded like this. I 
added yet more pads on tracks three and four. Uh, this was uh, a higher uh, tune um, to make it just cut through a little bit and uh, this is how it sounded like. <laughs> up till then all the pads have been have been at the lower register and uh, so I put something high up just to, to cut through a little bit. Now um, from the verse into the chorus um, which because the verse was on A and the chorus went A G D A um, I needed some kind of riff to sort of introduce the chorus um, and this is what I uh, added for the uh, rather a cool sounding synth which lifted the chorus uh, a little bit. Now it came to bass. Um, on track 16 I put some bass. Fairly straightforward with it being uh, all in A more or less. The bass was just sticking on A with a bit of variation and it was a kind of a throbbing sort of effect and this is uh, the bass. <laughs> See I was doing octaves there. So that was the bass sorted out. Now I was getting to uh, do the lyrics. I did the words and I, I realised once I'd done the lyrics that uh, there was a bit in the middle where I actually, even though the music was the same, I sang something different. Um, and just to, just to identify that as a different bit, more or less like a middle eight, uh, I added some uh, more keyboards. Now I call it the, the Barbara O'Reilly setting. Uh, it sounded a bit to me like the start of Barbara O'Reilly, which is one of my favourite all-time songs. So I was thrilled to, to put that in, and this is what I did with it. That was like a simple riff, Barbara O'Reilly style, that uh, went through the middle eight bit, where I was singing slightly differently. Uh, and that just changed the, the mood of the song slightly and, and I also did that right at the end as well. So that was all the uh, the music uh, and now I had to do the words. Now uh, this, the album's called Life Story and it, most of the songs are loosely based on, on things that have happened to me in the past. Um, and this one was all about my musical uh, history starting um, when I was obviously when I was about 11. Uh, and working through and, and each line of the song kind of loosely refers to different periods, different bands, splitting bands, bands joining and that kind of thing. It's all very uh, hidden meanings and that kind of thing but the, the song is basically about uh, musical history. Um, and I did a single lead vocal which is again unusual for me. On the vocal I added quite a lot of chorus uh, effect uh, it's sort of a sweeping chorus effect because uh, it seemed to suit the style of the singing. 55 I became alive on a whim away A bouncing baby that wasn't planned on a Sunday Got some echo there as well. The curly hair all soft and fair I went out to play Stealing a seed and keeping clean on a holiday. So that was the verses, uh, and on the chorus, I decided to uh, really go to town and uh, I put four vocals on the chorus too low and too high, which is something I've done regularly. And I'll play a bit of the chorus. see there's a harmony um, added to the chorus. There was a slight change in the middle eight where I was, I was singing something different. So I'll just play a little bit uh, of the chorus leading into the middle eight which is obviously is the same tempo and the same key in A 
Um, but instead of singing what I was doing in the verses, um, I was singing I will never stop this, which means songwriting. Um, it seems to be something I, I, I have to do. Um, and this is the verse going into the middle eight. <laughs> song really I did some editing in post-production some of the middle eight was too long so I, I cut a few bars out of there but apart from that it's more or less as it was when I recorded it and it was one of the quickest uh, quickest ones I did I mean that I did the um, the sample about three years ago and it's been on the hard drive ever since waiting to get finished and I, I kind of finished it in a couple of hours um, all the vocals and everything it went really well um, and that's how it ended up on the album as the, as the title track. Um, so here's the final version.